Have you ever wondered why overhead transmission lines sometimes switch positions along the length of the tower? You might have seen three conductors, one above the other, and after a few kilometers, they suddenly swap places. That's not a mistake. It's called transposition, and it plays a crucial role in the stability and efficiency of our power system. In this video, we'll break down what transposition really means, why it's done, and how it affects voltage balance and reactants in a transmission line. We'll even take a look at the engineering side of its implementation, so by the end, you'll have a crystal clear understanding of the concept. So stay tuned till the end because every second of this video is going to build your electrical engineering foundation stronger than ever. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to Electrology for more in-depth content like this. Also, if you find this helpful, consider supporting us through the thanks button or join our exclusive membership by clicking on the join button below. Let's start from the basics. What do we mean by transposition? In a three-phase transmission system, three conductors carry current from the generation station to the load center. Ideally, these conductors should have identical electrical parameters like inductance and capacitance. But in practice, that's not the case. Due to the physical arrangement of conductors, say one conductor is placed at the top, the second a bit lower, and the third at the bottom, the distances between the conductors and the ground aren't equal. This causes a symmetry in the inductance and capacitance of the lines, and that can lead to voltage imbalances, unequal line losses, and unwanted interference with communication lines. To tackle this, we use a technique called transposition. Now you might ask, why go through all the trouble of rearranging the conductors? Well, transposition is carried out to equalize the electrical conditions experienced by each phase conductor over the entire length of the transmission line. Since the physical location of each phase, R, Y, and B, affects its inductance and capacitance, any one conductor staying in the same position for the whole route would experience different electrical characteristics compared to the others. By interchanging their positions at regular intervals, each conductor is exposed to all positions, top, middle, and bottom. And hence, all three phases experience a kind of electrical averaging out. This helps achieve balance in line impedance, reduces voltage unbalance, and minimizes disturbances or electromagnetic interference, especially with nearby communication lines. Without transposition, these problems could accumulate over distance and affect power quality and communication reliability. That's why even though it might seem like a simple swap of positions, transposition is a carefully planned and extremely important part of power transmission engineering. Let's talk about the actual implementation. A transposition is done by specially designed towers where the positions of the conductors are physically interchanged. This doesn't happen frequently. Usually one complete transposition cycle is done over a long distance, like 300 to 400 kilometers, depending on the system design. The total line is divided into three equal parts. In the first section, phase R is at the top, Y in the middle, and B at the bottom. In the second section, phase R moves to the middle, Y goes to the bottom, and B takes the top position. In the final section, R shifts to the bottom, Y to the top, and B to the middle. This cycle ensures each phase conductor has spent an equal amount of time in each position, balancing out the inductive and capacitive effects over the whole line. Without transposition, the line with the highest inductance would carry less current, and this leads to unequal loading of the transmission line. Moreover, unbalanced lines act as antennas, and induce voltages into nearby telephone or signal lines, causing noise and signal distortion. By transposing the conductors, we eliminate this interference by cancelling out the magnetic coupling over each section. This is why you'll often find transposition practiced more in long-distance and rural areas where communication lines run parallel to power lines. Let me describe a simple way to visualize it. Imagine three conductors marked R, Y, and B. In the first segment of the transmission line, R is on top, Y is in the middle, and B is at the bottom. 
As the line continues, the second segment rearranges the conductors so that R moves to the middle, Y shifts to the bottom, and B takes the top position. Then in the final segment, R is now at the bottom, Y goes to the top, and B moves to the middle. This complete cycle ensures that each conductor, R, Y, and B, gets equal exposure to every physical position, and as a result, the electrical parameters across all phases even out over the total length of the transmission line. The key benefit of transposition is the uniformity it brings to the system. Without it, the physical asymmetry would lead to unequal line impedances, which could cause voltage unbalances at the receiving end of the line. Over long distances, this can create serious issues in power quality. Also, electromagnetic interference is a major concern when power and communication lines run parallel. Transposition helps suppress such interference by making sure no single conductor dominates in terms of magnetic influence over a long distance. It ensures a more balanced, efficient, and reliable operation of the power transmission system. Next time you're on a highway and see high voltage towers, look closely. You might spot those transposition towers where conductors switch places. It's a subtle but powerful feature that keeps our grid running smoothly. I hope this video helped you understand the importance and working of transmission line transposition. If you enjoyed the explanation and learned something new today, please leave a like. It really motivates me to keep making such content. Don't forget to subscribe to Electrology and share this video with your fellow electrical engineering friends. And if you'd like to support the channel, please consider clicking the thanks button below or join our member community through the join button for exclusive behind the scenes content and early access to videos. Until next time, stay curious and keep learning. This is Electrology, signing off.